There's two types of things that get buried, dead things and seeds. The difference between those two things, dead things and seeds, is that seeds have life inside of them. The Bible says that the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is living on the inside of us. We have that life-giving power inside of us, which means if you're buried right now, you're not dead. You're a seed. You have life inside of you. If you feel like you're buried, like you're under right now, it's not because you're dead. It's because you're a seed that's been planted. Growing up in the church that I grew up in, I heard a lot about seed time and harvest. It's a common theme you see throughout the Bible, the seed time and harvest. And I always looked at it, maybe I understood it wrong, but I always looked at it as seed time and harvest time. But I, I changed my perspective a little bit when I look at it as seed, time, harvest. It's three different phases of life. There's the seed phase where you're buried, where you think you might be dead, where it looks like you might be dead and you're buried underground, under pressure, under circumstances, under difficulties. I also understood the harvest part when everything that God has placed inside of us finally grows to fruition and we see all these miracles and we see these wonderful things. Everybody stands up and cheers in, in church when the pastor mentions harvest, right? Talks about harvest. But it's that middle part, time, that I had a hard time understanding and then that I really didn't even get until just a few days ago. Seed, time, and harvest. There's the seed when you're planted, when you're buried. There's the harvest, right? We all like that. But it's that time in between. That's the most difficult part. See, when a seed gets planted, it just buried underground and everybody thinks it's dead. I mean, nobody knows what's going on. You see just the dirt. You don't see what's going on underneath the soil. And the roots grow to a pretty good size before you ever see even the tiniest bit of green come up above the surface. So if right now you feel like you're buried, it might feel like you're dead, but you got life inside of you, so you're not dead, you're planted. And understand that even if you're not maybe seeing the results, if no one around you is seeing the results, if you think I'm called to do these big, great things and you don't see the results, it's not because you're dead. It's not because God's not working. It's because God is building roots in you right now. You need those roots to anchor down deep so that what does grow is sustainable. Maybe you're called to the ministry. Maybe it's a business idea. There's a lot of things that, that you have that, that God wants to grow and develop, but you gotta stay planted first and allow those roots to grow deep. And don't get discouraged if you don't see it on the outside, if nobody else sees your potential. Every tree started as a little seed that had to be buried deep in the ground, that grew roots first before anybody ever saw anything poking up above the ground. You're planted, not buried. Whether you see it or not, God is doing something big in your life.